Back to that explosion happening to our south down in Louisville. At least 11 people hospitalized. Neighbors are also being asked to shelter in place. The city's fire chief saying that hazardous materials are involved. Experts already performing tests to make sure the air is clean. Our Sean McKinnon is there. Sean, I have to imagine it was pretty jarring when you got to the scene. Mike Cherie, it absolutely was. As you can see, lights of emergency management vehicles, as far as the eye can see. We do have new information from our sister station, WLKY. Two people are in critical condition. They're at University of Louisville Hospital. The shelter in place is still in effect for a quarter mile in this area. Uh, but from where we're at right now, we are too far to see the explosion itself. I'll go ahead and let you take a look at the video that really tells the story of it. This happened at a food dye and coloring plant, but Louisville's mayor says they do not know what caused the explosion. Like you said, 11 people are in the hospital now. All of them worked inside the plant. Two people were rescued and now everyone is accounted for. This video gives you a sense of how big this blast was. The explosion blew out the windows of some houses nearby and it was reportedly heard and felt for miles. The fire chief says as of right now, they have not found any issues with chemicals in the air, but they're using drones in their investigation. Uh, we've got a new tool in the toolbox that we're using today. Uh, it's a nine uh, sensor gas monitor that's that's uh, attached to a drone. So we're actually able to get air monitoring samples up in the atmosphere so that we can ultimately make sure that nothing is leaving the site. As for those 11 people in the hospital, the mayor did not comment on their conditions. But at this point in time, we they, he says there have been no deaths in this explosion. We're expecting another update later tonight. Reporting live from Louisville, Sean McKinnon, WWT News 5.